Hello you wonderful people! Pants with watercolors come in many sizes. Most common are the half pants and the full pants. And there, they are the Blocks 18ml ceramic pants. They are huge. I purchased, not affiliated by the way, um, a huge pan of Blocks Indigo and painted a monochromatic piece to play around with the color. So, let's talk a little more about Indigo. Indigo is probably my favorite color to use, to use in my paintings. I use it a lot for mixing as well as purely for backgrounds and shadows. The Blocks Indigo is a pigment, a pigment mix of PB29, PB15 and PBK9. It's a little too cool for my personal taste, which is probably the result of the PB15 in the mix. There is a slight pigment separation when the paint is watered down in the palette but I can't see any of it in the finished painting. Also, this mix lacks depth in my opinion and I will probably mix in some more black to add the values I like and the darkness I expect from an indigo color. Compared to others, it's very similar to the Sennelier hue of indigo. Here you can see other indigo hues in comparison. I want to take a moment to mention suncolors.com where you can find all the, these swatches and compare for yourself. Other colors are avail available as well, of course. Months ago, when placing an order, I was just intrigued to try out and see one of those huge pans for myself. As I ordered one of the, the colors I would use the most probably. The pan feels nice. On the bottom side it's rough with a label which has the color name as well as the pigment informations. The pan itself has a nice resting place for one brush. I truly believe that this pen would be awesome to use uh, once the paint is gone, but this will take me a while. I use little dishes for inks whenever I use inks. So this would be the pen to do this, the same. There are two other videos about the blocks paints on my channel one is a review of a tiny sand and another one is watching video of their full range of colors. If you haven't watched them, Blox is an artist quality brand from Belgium. The paints are nice to use. They aren't as flowy and active as other brands are though. If that is something you find important, this might not be the brand for you. When using them, I didn't have any issues though. So far. I used them on Sentinel paper, sorry, which is 100% cotton, as well as on Fabriana Artistico, as in this painting. In the end, this huge pan is practical if you use bigger brushes or used to paint monochromatic pieces. It's a nice addition to what I have, but it is no way necessary. I wonder how often I will paint monochromatic indigo pieces now. I hope you enjoyed the little owl as well as my ramblings. To help the community come together I started to give shoutouts to other channels to help out. So if you want a shoutout in my next video, tag me on Instagram with any of your art or use the hashtag I am an artist in the comments below the video. Let's share the love. If you have any questions or comments about the blocks paints, leave them down below as well. I would love to know what kind of experience you had using them. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day everyone. Bye.